Hello friends, this video on biodiversity and conservation part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are biodiversity and biodiversity conservation. So now, before we talk about conservation of biodiversity, first let us talk about biodiversity. What do we mean by biodiversity? The word diversity means variety and bio means life. So the variety of life forms which we see around ourselves, they all together constitute the biodiversity. Even we are a part of the living organisms which exist on this earth. So the variety of animals, human beings, small insects, in fact the aquatic life where you have a lot of animals, plants, fishes, the birds, the tiny bacteria, microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, so all of them are part of the living organisms. The huge plant kingdom where we, where we have small plants, big trees, flowering, non-flowering plants. So all of these life forms together constitute the living organisms existing on this earth. And if you look at or if you look at all of them and if you try to compare any two of them, you actually see that there are a lot of differences between them. For example, if you try to compare a human being with a fish, so do you find a lot of similarities? Not really. So there are a lot of differences between these two varieties of living organisms. So in a very similar way, all these living organisms which you see on the screen, they are very much different from each other. So in this lesson, we are not going to talk about these different living organisms because we have already done that in our previous lesson. So by now you all know the different uh, kingdoms to which each of these fall and the characteristics of each of those kingdoms. But what we are going to focus in this lesson is why do we want to conserve these many varieties of living organisms? We do not want the variety of living organisms to decrease. Now, when I say variety, you can compare it with a restaurant which offers you a buffet lunch or a buffet dinner where they provide you a variety of food items. So when you have, I mean, when you go to a restaurant, maybe it, it offers you some 10 types of dishes, right? So that means if there is another restaurant which offers you some 20 types of dishes, that means the second restaurant is offering you more variety. That's because the different types of dishes which are present there are more than that of the first restaurant. In a very similar way, we want the variety of living organisms to be more. We do not want living organisms variety to decrease. For example, when you think of a dinosaur, it was one variety of living organism which existed once upon a time, but it became extinct. So it doesn't exist anymore. So that means if organisms start becoming extinct or they get extinct, then what will happen? The variety will keep reducing and that is something which we do not want. Now the question is, why do we want to retain or why do we want to conserve this huge variety of living organisms? So here in this lesson, we will talk about, we will try to understand why we want biodiversity to be present and we will also talk about how can we conserve biodiversity. So that is the basic agenda of this lesson. So with this brief introduction, let us get into from the very basics. So what is biodiversity? As I mentioned, variety of living organisms existing on earth. So the name itself, now as I have mentioned before, the word biodiversity, it is made up of two parts. Bio, which means life and diversity, which means variety. And that is why it is the variety of living organisms which exist on earth. Now this biodiversity can happen at many different levels. Now whenever we talk about variety of living organisms that means those living organisms belong to two different varieties because they have differences amongst each other. Now these differences can arise due to many reasons. Now one of the reason could be difference in the genes and that is where we talk about genetic diversity. So genetic diversity is the variety of living organisms which exists due to differences at the genetic level. So that is where comes genetic diversity. The next level of diversity could be a species diversity where two different organisms are belong to two different varieties because they belong to two different species. Now as you know, there are several millions of different species which live on this earth. Now, what are species? 
Species are a group of organisms which are capable of interbreeding amongst themselves. That is, they can mate with each other or they can reproduce amongst themselves. So that is another level of biodiversity and the third level is ecological biodiversity and this is diversity at the level of ecosystems. Now we have already learned that there are several ecosystems which exist on earth. So now each ecosystem will have a different biodiversity. For example, again if I take the same example of a restaurant, so let us suppose there is one restaurant which gives more variety of desserts. There is another restaurant which gives you more variety of starters. So basically different restaurants are like different ecosystems and different ecosystems have different variety of living organisms. So somewhere you might have more number of um, say animals whereas the other one might have less number of animals. So the variety will be different based on different ecosystems. So these are the three levels of biodiversity, genetic diversity, species diversity and ecological diversity. So now we will quickly talk about each of these diversities in detail. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.